Okay, so here we are at Vic, uh, Venus Needs Men. Um, let's start things off. It's Pluto's turn. Pluto's going to take a movement action. Remember, you have a number of different choices of actions listed here. And they're just going to roll, because their special ability is this wormhole generator, they're going to roll uh, to teleport with both their ships. One goes to seven, one goes to nine. That gets them much, much closer to Earth. That's their turn. Now, they could play a card to try to extend that somehow, but they don't see a point. Now we go uh, to Titan. Titan looks at its turn. They want to also do a move, I believe. They're allowed to move two areas. So they'll move both their ships into Area 7. And then, they're going to slow everyone down by playing this a Graviton Polarity Reversal. No player can perform a move until the beginning of their next turn. Now, someone's immune to that, from what I remember. I don't remember who. Anti-gravity. Mars is immune to that. Okay. Let's go and see uh, what Ganymede wants to do. Those are neat cards, of course. They can't move. So, they're going to want to, uh, I guess, do a research action. And they're not at all interested in Gatling lasers. Take this out of the mix. They discard the Gatling lasers, draw a new card. Electronic brain. Uh, wow, that sounds cool. When you roll a die to get a technology upgrade, you can add one to your die roll. Other options? Population teleportation allows them to move one extra population or this adamantium armor, which would be cool for them. But I think what they want to do is instead go for the electric brain. They get a nine for that. They roll the nine, so they get to pick it out. And that's a cool little bonus. Now, I don't know. Yeah, if you get it, we get a replacement now. So there's a new technology out there, pheromone lures. When you perform a population action, any one of your spaceships can collect, disinfect, or destroy one additional, any one uh, can do one additional population. If you're Titan, you can teleport an additional infected back. This is the same as wide area teleport, but they're actually cumulative. Okay, now we go to the Mars player. Now Mars is the only guy who can move right now. He's got a luck roll. Hmm. He could have boned that die roll, but he doesn't want to do that this early. Alright. Well, Mars is going to move his ships. Mars is very close to the Earth. His spaceships move one area as normal. So he'll go into orbit with his ships. Now, if he was Pluto, he could start attacking humans next turn, but he can't because he's not. We go to the humans, and what is their ability? 
Hmm. They are not thrilled with what their abilities are. No player may build a, a build until next turn. Uh, I could make somebody have to attack. That could be kind of cool, but I'd rather have that happen uh, in Earth or Orbit so I can get an extra research. And causality fluctuation, play it when another player plays a zap. Gets to work as though it's my zap card. Hmm. Oh. Uh, I think what I want to do. I too want to do a research action, I guess. So I'm not in great shape. I don't have any spaceships either. Uh, I'm going to go for the adamantium armor. That's a seven. And I get to roll a die for that. Oh, I can throw something away. Uh, I'll throw this pheromone lure away. Let's see if we draw something better. Ooh, even better armor. Let's go for the better armor, the nine or more. Okay, and we got a ten. Bonus for us. And this should obsolete our armor. Doesn't entirely because we still have this. I think. I don't know. All right, well, I'll give them that. Okay. And now finally we go over to Venus. And Venus looks at their hand. Huh. I could steal somebody's top. Zap card, which would include the polarity reversal. That's not terribly valuable at this point. Ah, uh, well, we want to get to Earth as quickly as possible. And to me, that would be moving. We can't move. Oh, there's another card here. Energy amplifier, more dice. Well, I can't move. I could, of course, build spaceships. Those are useful. Nobody else has built spaceships. I'm gonna build a spaceship. And in fact, I'm going to discard a card. Oh, no, one of those. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to discard the sneak attack and build another ship. And I may just discard the natural disaster as well and build another ship. Big, big attempt by them. All right, well, I'll take a little pause here and come back on Pluto's turn. Well, Pluto's in a position where they can't move. They could shoot a Titan ship. But they're particularly not good at that and don't really see a point to starting off a fight yet. Uh, I think what they're going to do is they're going to discard they're going to go for a technology advance. Find a good shield. Uh, 
going to go for the wide area teleport. That will give them more destructive capability. And they get lucky too. Everybody's rolling well. They get that. This technology rolls are going very well. Turbo boost. You get to move two areas. Ooh, if Earth gets it, Earth's no longer confined to Earth in orbit. Hmm. I don't know how much use that is. Uh, okay. So now... We're at Titan. And Titan's gotten to move... They're able to move two areas with their plasma rockets, so they want to land. And start working on infecting the Earth population. Alright, that brings us over to Ganymede. And what did they gain? Electronic brain. They like doing upgrades. Hmm. With that plus one on the upgrades, they're going to go for a tech action too. And they're going to try to get the uh, they're going to try to go for the adaptive shield. And they roll an eight. Plus one is nine. They'll take that. I guess they didn't want to discard one. Yttrium Alloys, kind of a crappy defense card. Good for the Earth, not good for anyone else, really. The Martians, they already got to move. Um, hmm. What they're going to do is they're going to land on Titan. And what they're looking at is using this uh, mind control ability, which allows them to take over Titan's spaceships. So they're going to play conscientious objectors and prevent Titan from shooting them. Or anyone from shooting anyone, really. They want to gain the advantage of the most things in in space. Now this guy should have gotten another card already. Okay, he's able to build extra cards. That's not terribly impressive, is it? You are another player may immediately build two plus one more for each additional zap card discarded. That's kind of powerful. Okay, so now we're at Earth. And damn. Uh, Huh. No one can play an attack action, but my card is lower, so I can't use it. Causality? Well, that's not terribly valuable. No player can build until the beginning of my next turn. None of those are great. Um... I have good defenses, I have shitty weapons. I'm going to go and discard. See, I get an advantage if things start dying on Earth, though. I'm going to build a spaceship. And... I'm, see, I'm afraid of giving it to anyone else, though. That's the problem. Like, if I put a spaceship here, someone else may screw with me. I'm going to build it over here, trying to prevent that from happening. And now we'll go over to Venus. And Venus has almost no cards, so they draw two. Is there a zap card I want on somebody's discard? Not terribly. 
alien plague. Up to three neighboring areas with at least as many populations as players. Each player takes a population from one and places on their home world. Hmm. That's not terribly valuable. Choose up to three spaceships from one area, roll a die for each, and teleport it to the space whose number you rolled. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to perform a move action. I'm allowed to. Uh, my ships are just normal. So I'll push them all into orbit. All right. Well, this one's going up too. I'm sorry I haven't been able to show you any combats yet. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I want to go into this detail for the entire game. It's hard for me to play this way. I'm going to start doing what I normally do, focusing in where something interesting is happening. All right.